of the strange phenomenon that I've noticed since this COVID event began is the rise of these Stasi wannabe busybodies who report and shame people who don't wear masks. Most of the time, it's some scared idiot who's yelling at you with their mask pulled down under their nose. And then other times, it's DNC media hacks who are trying to play gotcha games with their business and ideological competitors. This happened a few days ago, and I tweeted about it, but Carl put out a statement today, and I want to cover how utterly pathetic and transparently untruthful it was. It happened Monday after Trump walked away from an utterly childish display from a couple left-wing activists pretending to be reporters. ABC's Jonathan Carl must have felt the need to strike out at Fox News because he took a picture of John Roberts sitting there without a mask outside, mind you, with the caption, almost everybody in the Rose Garden is wearing a mask. Almost everybody. Remember that for later when I tell you his excuse. So he tweets that out and Roberts responds saying, quote, facts. I was quietly seated more than six feet away from the closest person, adhering to CDC social distancing guidelines. When the press conference began, I put mask on. So what exactly is the basis for this petty effort at shaming? Indeed, what is the basis? What exactly is Jonathan Carl from ABC trying to prove here? The fact is Fox dominates in the ratings. So all these other DNC outlets always feel the need to try and discredit them. But of course, as we all know well by now, the standards that they put forth are never meant to be applied to them. Like old El Rushbo says, put a bag of excrement in front of a Democrat and they'll step in it every time. It turns out that Jonathan Carl himself was spotted out in public getting tacos without a mask and surrounded by people in masks. Ah, but it's different when he does it. He's a socialist Democrat and they're just better people. Am I saying that I'm better than you? I guess I'm going a little further than you are. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Okay, much better than you. He probably had a mask, but gave it to a trans woman of color. Sorry for the interruption. We'll get right back to the video. I know how much you all love ads. But first, let me tell you about the special offer for my subscribers from this episode's sponsor, Virtual Shield VPN. With the majority of the world's workforce now working from home, VPN security is now preferred. Cyber spying is at an all time high and a useful tool that you can use to protect yourself is a VPN or virtual private network to scramble your computer's identity from nosy cyber criminals. Here, let me show you how easy this is to protect yourself. I'm going to go to www.virtualshield.com or you can also use the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Virtual Shield free 30-day trial. Once you've signed up, simply log in, download the free trial, and install it. Once I'm connected, my IP address is now different than before. See? Virtual Shield is the easiest to use, has the fastest server connections, and offers a money back guarantee. Due to the recent pandemic of COVID-19, Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up now for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN. VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. After getting massively ratioed and rightly called out for his now exposed stunt, he actually tries to claim that he wasn't shaming Roberts at all. What? No. Oh, no, no, no. He was just commenting on how extraordinary it was that so many people had masks on. It was an extraordinary scene. I wasn't shaming anybody. I simply tweeted four photos showing just about everybody wearing a mask in the Rose Garden. Something we have never seen before. Oh, of course. These people must see themselves as brilliant liars because that's a pretty mind-blowingly obvious misrepresentation of what he actually said. Almost everybody in the Rose Garden is wearing a mask. Almost everybody. With one picture showing John Roberts without a mask. Outside away from anybody else. This reminds me of NBC's deceptive edit the other day and Chuck Todd's non-apology and pathetic excuse today. Today, he's predictably calling it a mistake like they always do because it's not odd at all that these mistakes always benefit left-wingers and Democrats. And of course, a professional journalist can't be bothered to watch more than 10 seconds of an interview and it just happens to be the 10 seconds that they're doing a misleading report on. But well, before we go to break, I wanted to talk for a moment about something that occurred on Sunday's edition of Meet the Press. Now, we did not edit that out. That was not our edit. We didn't include it because we only saw the shorter of two clips that CBS did air. We should have looked at both and checked for a full transcript. A mistake 
that I wish we hadn't made and one that I wish I hadn't made. Had I seen that part of the interview, I would not have framed the conversation the way I did. And I obviously am very sorry for that mistake. <laughs> Bullshit. How could this possibly be? You work for a supposedly professional news organization. You did a segment on this interview, but didn't bother to watch the interview? Only this specific 10 seconds? Who could possibly believe that? And if it's true, then how in the hell do you have a job? For that matter, why do you even need a job considering the millions that you get from the Democrat party? Ah, oh. that's all for this episode. Please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps this channel. And just a reminder, if you punish yourself on Twitter, you might as well follow me and we can lose our sanity together. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. Like a rock, you treat me down, it's like a rock.